So without fail, every couple of weeks, I either see an email, a forum post, or a comment on a YouTube video where someone says they want to try Graphene OS, but they're afraid that they're going to brick their device. The general consensus is that with the web installer, it's nearly impossible to brick your device. But instead of just saying that, I wanted to make a video showing that things can go terribly wrong and you will not break your device. So here we have a Pixel 7 running stock Android OS. This isn't going to be an instructional video, so I'm going to be fast forwarding through a lot of parts. But the first step to install Graphene OS is to put this in fast boot mode. So let's restart it. Just ignore the pop-up on the screen. I'm running Mac OS and this is part of the OS. So first part, unlock the bootloader. Even if you unplug your device right now, everything is still happening on the device, the actual unlocking of the bootloader. It doesn't have to be connected to the computer for this. So unlock the bootloader. And again, these are things you should not be doing. I'm just showing you they still work. So that was step one, we unlocked the bootloader. It's also worth mentioning at this point that once you unlock the bootloader on your device, all existing data will be erased. So that happens regardless of how the rest of the installation goes. Once you do that, all your data is gone. Let's move on to the second part, download release. I already downloaded it earlier, so it's already cached in my browser. Again, that's all happening on the browser, nothing on the device yet. Now this is the part where we're actually flashing to our device. So let's flash to our device. And let's just say we unplug it right now, because why not? The device is restarting, computer's lost connection with it, and we are back to the fast boot interface. We'll plug in our device again. Our browser picked it up, so it started the process again. So here it is, writing some files to our device. Let's go ahead and unplug it again. We can see there was an error in our browser. That's fine. Let's just start our phone and see where we're at. It's just a warning that our bootloader is unlocked. So while that's loading, about two months ago, I launched my new podcast, which is called In the Shell. It's stories of hackers, malware, and the people who shape tech. So if you want to check it out or listen to it, you can head on over to intheshellpodcast.com. So at this point, the phone is not booting. It's not getting past the Google screen, as you can see here. This is likely the worst case scenario that you'll encounter, which is easily fixed with a forced reboot. So we're going to hold the power button and the volume up button. It takes about 15 seconds. And we want to go into fast boot mode again. So I'm going to hold the volume down button as it boots up. As you can see, we're now back in fast boot mode. Let's plug our phone back in so we can continue the installation. Back on the screen, I'm just going to click flash release again. Our phone's still connected, so it's going through the process all over again. And so far, our phone is not bricked. I know another concern is what if I lose internet connection during the installation? So let me go ahead and turn off my Wi-Fi on my laptop. And as we can see here, well, internet's gone. Installation is still continuing because the installation does not actually require an internet connection. Once you actually obtain the factory image in the previous step, you can continue without internet and you will be just fine. So as we can see here, we're further along in the process. Let's go ahead and just unplug this. Again, we see the error. Let's just start our device and see where we're at. So at this point, we now have a different screen. It says your device is corrupt. It can't be trusted and may not work properly. Again, this is another worst case scenario. And to fix this, let's see, we can press the power button to continue. The bootloader unlo is unlocked, warning. And like we saw before, it's just going to be stuck on the Google Splash screen. So let's do another forced reboot, power button and volume up button. I'm going to hold the volume down button again to go into fast boot mode. Here we are to fast boot mode. Let's plug in our USB cable again. Click flash release. Our phone is detected again and the process will start over. There it goes again, proceeding with the installation. Let's just refresh the page. So now it seems like everything is messed up because we refreshed our page, but that could happen to you. So let's press flash release again. Doesn't seem to be finding our phone. So let's unplug it and plug it back in. It seems like it just needed that to reset it. And now it's good to go to continue the flashing process. 
So this time I let the flash complete. So let's move on to the next step. Lock the bootloader. That's finished. Bootloader is locked. I'm going to start my device. So we now have the Graphene OS welcome screen. We have successfully installed it, even after unplugging the USB cable during the installation, having to hard reboot our device, refreshing the web page, turning off the internet. We were still able to successfully install it, and we have not bricked our device. So as long as you can do some basic troubleshooting, like unplugging and plugging back in the USB cable if the connection doesn't work, or doing a forced reboot with the power button and volume up button, you will have no problem installing Graphene OS using the web installer, and you will not break your device. If you have any other questions or comments, feel free to leave those down below, and I will see you next time.